Hi guys, today's October 3rd, 2019. Um, I just got off the phone with uh, Watchmen for That Great Day, John Boucher and uh, Carly. Um, and I've been studying all day. I'm talking about all day, all day, all day. Uh, and last night and the Holy Spirit came over me and I started speaking in tongues. And I have a very powerful Bible study that I want to get out. So I am first going to plead the blood of Jesus over this video and that it reaches near and far and that the Holy Spirit will speak out to each and every one of you and they will reach out and grab you and just be the blood that runs in your veins, be the ears you hear out of, the eyes you see out of, and the mouth that you speak out of. Give them the heart, oh God, to be able to understand your words like you have given me this understanding. I'm going to hopefully do this as calm as possible. It's going to be a long video because there is a lot to cover. Okay, so um, September 29th began the Jewish New Year, right? Which is also known as the first month or the seventh month, the head of the year. Okay. Uh, from September 23rd, uh, 2019, if you add 40 days, um, it it's um it's a warning, okay, which leads us to November 2nd. All right, which is nine days before um Veterans Day. You're probably thinking, why what what's up with all these dates? You'll see. Um, and but they they said that Jesus said, well, what will be the sign of your coming? He says there will be no sign but the sign of Jonah. OK, and the sign of Jonah is, you know, obviously, what is it, Pisces or whatever up in the sky. Um, but it's also 40 days. OK, is the sign. OK, in repentance, if you do not repent, he shall overthrow you. OK. And then. We've got, okay, so then if we go from May 14th, okay, of 2018 and we add 70 weeks, okay, like if Daniel, if you literally add weeks to it, it leads you to September 17th, okay, 2019, well, September 16th, which is, you know, Israel's seven hours ahead of us, so it's the 17th, which is the Israeli election, which they've had no leader, and they still don't, um, all right. So, and if you go from Pentecost of 2018 and you add 70 weeks, you get to September 23rd of this year, which is the Revelation 12 sign, the second year anniversary, and three days before the day, the daily sacrifice. Okay, and we know that the Noahide laws um, are, they come from the Talmud, not from the Bible of God's holy word. Okay, and the Sanhedrin made these laws in 2018 to present them at the appointed time, and the appointed time was September 26th. Now, I'm going to tell you um, September 26th is a very, very big deal because of uh, the when the Antichrist comes in, okay, he is going, in the midst of it, he's going to end those daily sacrifices. This September 26th is what the Antichrist, those, the... Okay, Holy Spirit, Father God, I got to get this out. So people can understand Lord Jesus, so be able to... Okay, these laws, these this this daily sacrifice... Okay, began September 26th. This is going to cease in the midst of the tribulation because the Antichrist is the one that is going to cause the, it to end. Okay, um, this was the beginning. This is also what is going to wage war. Okay, um, so let, let's let's keep going. If we read in Daniel 10, it's talking about um, the third year of King Cyrus, which we know is Trump, okay, that he was anointed in the first year, um, and then, you know, he re he made Israel, you know, the Jerusalem capital of Israel, and so on and so forth, and he said that he mourned for three weeks after he was shown the vision vision because it was a long time waiting. That is the appointed time because it's the appointed time, okay? And those three weeks, what I was led was the three years. The three years of Trump, okay? Now, um, 
I'm, I'm petrified to be able to say this, but I'm not. So God help me to be able to receive to your people. Like I was able to present it to John and Carly. Okay. Um, okay. So God's not allowing me to say that. Okay. So Rabbi Kaduri's prophecies have been 100% accurate. Okay. Um, the next is that the, the, of uh, of the revealing of the Messiah. Okay. They, now I want you to understand something. If we read in Daniel nine, okay. It says right here, it says right here. Okay. Um, that he shall confirm a covenant with many Wait, after 62, another for instance, there shall be seven weeks. Okay. He shall be cut off. And shall destroy the city and the sanctuary. The end of it shall be with the flood and the end of desolations. Then he shall confirm a covenant with many for one week. But in the midst of the week, he shall bring an end to sacrifice and offering. And on the wing of abominations shall be one who makes desolate even till consummation, which is poured out. Okay. Um. Anyways, what, what I was saying is he's going to stand up and state that he is God. That's actually in Thessalonians. Um. And when he reveals himself as God. Okay. Um, okay. So sorry, I have to take a breather because I'm getting so mumbo jumbled. Okay. All right. It says in the first year of his reign, I, Daniel understood by the books, the number of the years specified by the word of the Lord through Jeremiah, the prophet that he would accomplish 70 years in the desolation of Jerusalem. Okay. And it's not just desolation. What they did. Okay. Is they literally, literally, they, they threw God's covenant away. Like in Leviticus 26, this is, this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to be telling you Leviticus 26, um, 25, 26. And it, it says, I'm going to read in 14 on, Okay, it says, but if you do not obey me and do not observe all these commandments, and if you despise my statutes or if your soul abhors my judgments so that you do not perform all my commandments, but break my covenant, which is exactly what they did. They broke God's covenant by entering their Noahide laws. Okay, that was at the 70 years <laughs> done now. Okay, or within the 70 years to be accomplished. Okay. Now it says, and I will also do this to you, I will appoint terror over you, wasting disease and fever which shall consume the eyes and cause sorrow of the heart. You shall sow your seed in vain for your enemies will eat it. I will set my face against you and you shall be defeated by your enemies. And after all this, if you still do not obey me, then I would punish you seven times more for your sins. And it just keeps going on. Seven times for their sins, seven times of, of plague, seven, 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 which reminds me of this, the bowls, the seals and um, things like that. And um, and then, okay, it says that only then if they repent within these 70 years, would they, would God hear their cries and he would turn off. You either accept God and listen to him or you're going to be punished. Okay. Um, and repent of your sins. All right. Um, and it says, okay, in the 70 years. So like we said, for September 17th, they were without a leader, okay? And they have been saying that impeachment query, okay, um, is not expected to affect the peace plan rollout, okay? Which they said it could take months. Now, I don't believe it's going to be months. I think it's going to be weeks because of many other reasons. It says, uh, because the Antichrist is the one that's going to step in. He is the one that is going to rule. That is literally... What's going to happen is there is going to be a war that is broke out, okay, between, because Israel is surrounded, the Iranian leaders have, okay, said, the same Kaduri who revealed Jesus as Messiah said that Messiah is revealed when there are elections, but no government, which matches Micah 419. Did you hear me? The Messiah is revealed he is going to stand up and reveal that he is god claiming that he is god then his son wrote when quite young in 5780 there will be no government for an extended time different camps will fight and argue then on rosh hashanah god and his hosts will decide 
the prophet from Egypt, the two Benjamins, which is Netanyahu and Gantz, neither will succeed, obviously. Okay, because, and then it says, the Messiah revealed is following Shabbat. And Shabbat, we know, is a day of rest. Okay, now, these are the dates that which Shabbat is. Okay, we've got October 4th and 5th, um, which would be this Shabbat um, after Rosh Hashanah. Or you can do the following, which is the 11th, 12th, which is the beginning of the Feast of the Tabernacles. Um, or it could be referred to as the last day of Sukkot, which is October 21st. Okay, which is also, like I said, the last great day. And even God says that, you know, um, we shall know when he comes. The end is from the beginning and the beginnings from the end. And then um, I'm going to tell you, it says Messiah almost here and Orthodox Jews evangelical evangelicals know it. Pastor says specifically, he said the common bond is in the belief that one day soon there will be a war as described in Ezekiel 38, 39, in which Israel will battle a coalition led by Persia, which is considered today to be Iran. And through this battle, the Messiah will come. All right, what Israel being surrounded, okay, is going to be a war, okay? There will not be a leader because there's going to be a war. And within the midst of the war, that is when the Antichrist comes in and says, okay, we're done. We're going to have peace now. You know what I mean? He's going to, uh, already, he's going, he's going, Okay, top I I ran military official. We have Israel surrounded. They prepared a net for my feet to ensnare me. They dug a pit for me, but they fell into it. Okay, all of this within the midst of the 70 years, because we are given 70 years, okay, in the accomplishment of the Messiah to which is to come. Okay. And um, then it says, okay, like I said, at the Feast of the Tabernacles, they, we have them surrounded. And if you go in Amos 8, it says, um, uh, Amos, what do you see? And he says a basket of summer fruit. Um, and the basket is, is, is in the Strong's meaning. It means a snare. Okay. What they, okay. God says that he's going to bring his people back. Okay. Rosh Hashanah people get together. Okay. The nations get together, but, but. What the Feast of Tabernacles is, is the end gathering of the harvest of souls. Did you hear me? The harvest of souls, the gathering of souls. It is a time of repentance and atonement for their sins. God will not forgive them for what they did until they all turn around and repent, which will not happen until after the blindness of them that they have will be taken away in the midst of the tribulation when they realize, oh crap, this is, you know, the, the wrong Messiah. This isn't Jesus who we said it was. This is the Antichrist, okay? That is when God's going to come back to his people, okay? Right now, he is not. He's going to let them fall. They are being surrounded and there's going to be a war. And this war is what is going to cause uh, the Antichrist to step in to be ruler within these timings, okay? And the tabernacles... Like I said, is the feast of ingathering, and um, um, and in Jeremiah twenty five, it says, "Behold, I will send and take all the families of the north," says the Lord Nebuchadnezzar, the king of Babylon, my servant, and I will bring them against this land and against those nations all around, and will utterly destroy them and make them an astonishing, a hissing, and perpetual desolation. Excuse me, no. This is what I'm going to tell you, and you guys aren't going to like it, but it's the truth, because God's law, word does not lie. Moreover, I will take from them the voice of mirth and the voice of gladness, the voice of the bridegroom and the voice of the bride, the sound of the millstones and the light of the lamp. And this whole land shall be a desolation and an astonishment, and these nations shall serve the king of Babylon 70 years. Do you not understand what just happened? Their 70 years was cut off at the daily sacrifice, September 26th. Okay. That they, they, they signed their, they, they right there with those Noahide laws, they threw God's covenant completely away. 
Those 70 years, this is the fulfillment. In the third year of Trump, okay, um, as the, the ruler, they are no longer um, in, in part of Babylon, in part of Babylon, okay? And it says, then it will come to pass when 70 years are accomplished that I will punish the king of Babylon and that nation, the land of the Chaldeans for their iniquity, says the Lord, and I will make it a perpetual desolation. America is going to be completely wiped off the map. That is God's word. That is what he says. That he is going to take it away. But in order for the revealing and everything to happen, we, the Holy Spirit that lives inside us, as Christians, as born again believers, are going to be raptured and taken out of the way. That is the only thing holding it back. What's going to happen, okay? And then we have the tabernacles here. Okay, and and I wouldn't be telling you this. I'm going to read to you Second Chronicles, um, 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 Second Chronicles 36, 15. And the Lord God of their fathers sent warnings to them by His messengers, that is us, rising up early and sending them because He had compassion on His people and on His dwelling place. Okay, but they mocked the messengers of God, despised His words, and scoffed. At his prophets until the wrath of the Lord arose against his people till there was no remedy. That is sad. Okay. And the Sabbath, where, where is it? The Sabbath, the Sabbath. I had another thing I needed to speak on about the Sabbath. Okay. Um, hold on. Yes, right here. Second Chronicles, okay, to fulfill the word of the Lord by the mouth of Jeremiah until the land had enjoyed her Sabbath, okay, her rest. The land could not rest while his people are in there. What's going to happen is he is going to scatter those people. That's exactly what's getting ready to happen. They're getting ready to be scattered abroad, okay, God's, all these people, because they chose, um, they chose not God. They chose a, a different king. They chose to live by the Antichrist's rule. And that's what these Noah Idlars is, is to bring, you know, Islam in, you know, the, the Arabians, um, and the, the, the Feast of Tabernacles is, it's the one that symbolizes the in gathering. Okay. The in gathering like us, the, the uh, God's people. There's, there's so much to this that people just do not understand. Um, and then, you know, even in Zechariah 14, behold, the day of the Lord is coming and your spoil will be divided in your midst for I will gather all the nations to battle against Jerusalem. The city will be taken, the house is riffled and the woman ravished. Half of the city shall go into captivity, which is the revelation 12 sign, but the remnant of the people shall not be cut off from the city. Okay. Um, and then. This is when he will come back, okay? This is all myths, but my whole point is war. War is coming. We And these Noah Eid laws and this daily sacrifice is what the Antichrist is going to cause to cease, okay? Because they're, they're like, there does not have to be a temple, okay? And the red heifer is going to be, has to be two before they sacrifice It's one, okay? So that means that the Messiah that is getting ready to be revealed, okay, from September 26th, if you add the 70 to it, you get what, January 28th, 2021, something like that, which would be when the daily sacrifice, you know, they're going to um, uh, be able to sacrifice the red heifer. Um, on their altar and this altar is able to be moved the the um the the altar which is you know Ezra 3 6 they only need an altar they do not need a temple okay and God even says that he you know he is not a God he is not worshipped by human hands he is not in a building you know because God dwells within us um and so and then we also have um what's about to happen okay the moon on october 13th which is a full moon and it starts uh tabernacles it is called the hebkul which means a scattering of the jews which is literally what's about to happen also called the travel moon and blood moon um and on october 3rd and i want to thank 
uh, the hourly watch and brother Todd, it is finished. And I also want to tell sister Gigi, I love you dearly, sweetheart. And I'm telling you that that 2100 America could very well be this October 21st, last great day. Jesus Christ is coming. And this may be my very last video that I will ever put out because he is coming and there's nothing more us watchmen can physically tell anybody except for what God has showed us. Um, I mean, it, it's, it's literally here. And they have even said that right here, rabbis predict catastrophe era of earthquakes in the U S will be set off by atomic bombs, Nibiru and pornography. This just came out yesterday, this article right here. Um, and, and it says, mountains shall be overthrown, cliffs shall topple, and every wall shall crumble to the ground. Ezekiel 38, 20. Um, so the earthquakes and stuff that's going to happen. And um, it says, all these outbreaks are horrible. Rabbi Ben Artsy said, people are walking around in constant shock. This is truly the period of the Messiah. These are the pains. The Messiah is at the opening and needs to come out into the world because he is coming. And that is all I have to say in closing. If you have not accepted Christ as your Lord and Savior, please do so. Um, because you're not promised tomorrow. You're not promised the next day. I just know that through my heart of hearts is what God has showed me and many watchmen. That we are literally at the door. And, you know, us having the date wrong. It's, it's not... I'm not setting dates. It's these time frames. We are giving these time frames as encouragement to keep you watching so you don't fall asleep. That is the point of a watchman. That's why we're out there. Jesus is coming. Jesus is coming. Rosh Hashanah. Keep out. Keep a lookout. Keep a lookout. You know, and it's like, you know, just like 9-11. Everyone keeps, okay, that's a date. We got to keep an eye on it because there could be another, you know, disaster that happens in America. Okay. But since Israel damned God is what they did. They tried to do so by taking away his covenant and made it their own. They brought in that what they're doing is they're ushering in their Messiah, their new altar where they can do their daily sacrifices again. And it's not a good thing because this is angering God and first, what's going to happen is there's going to be war. But before all the revealing and the midst of this peace agreement, why it has not been revealed is because we are literally still here and this war has to be broke out. God bless you all. And uh, I hope this encouraged you like it did me because whew, the Holy Spirit has been strong on me today. Um and uh, just pray over everything as always and take all these scriptures and study them for yourself. Do not trust man. I am not perfect. Okay. But I know God is and his word is. Okay. So take heed that no one deceives you. And I don't, I don't want any blood on my hands. I was, I was led that I, I have to get these messages out. And I, I, I do, I, I have to speak on what God tells me to, because if I don't, I'm clenching the spirit and God tells us not to do that. So, um, like I said, God bless you all and you guys have a magnificent day.